Yeah, well, I think we're pretty lucky, you know, in the wake of the circumstances that's happened up, up the road. Um, you know, we've been blessed with the, the first grand final, so um, it's going to be a cracking Saturday to have the double header. So, um, yeah, I'm just excited. Some of the girls are actually from the Gold Coast as well. It is technically an away game, but do you think all the um, Sun supporters can get behind the um, girls' team as well? Yeah, definitely. I think um, only women's team in Queensland, so I think all Suns and Brisbane Lions supporters should get a round of the um, women's grand final. It's a great event at Metricon and we're really excited for them to come down and play the game in front of us. We've seen this season that the spectators just continue to grow. Do you think that in the years to come they will be able to fill a stadium for their grand finals? Yeah, I think they um, they can now, really. Um, you see how big it's uh, it is down south, so um, I believe that if there were, if the you know, an Adelaide or someone, you know, won the rights for the grand final, they would have had 30,000, 40,000, so um, yeah, it'd be great to see if we can pack out Metricon this weekend, because um, the girls deserve it, it's their inaugural grand final, um, and then there's a, a Q clash afterwards, which would be great if they could stick around. Do you think, sorry, sorry. Do you think the people who come to watch the women should be able to stay to watch the men as well? Um, yeah, I don't see why not. Um, it's a double header. Um, it'd be great to um, have a full house for both games, um, but I understand there's supporters who are, um, you know, just coming for the women's final, but if you're already here, why not stay? Do you have any concerns about the track that you yourself up in mean, a full game of footy on it? Not at all. I think Metricon's a great service, and um, whenever, whenever we played there, it's held up really well, so I don't think that'll be an issue at all. We all normally have a pre-game. Um, there's normally a game before us in there anyway, so it's, I don't think that's an issue at all. Yeah, look, really excited. We're um, feels like it's been a long time since we've played um, some serious footy, so I think we're really looking forward to starting the season, and it's great to start off with a Q clash um, at our home ground. There's a bit of focus on their midfield. You know, how are you guys preparing for that? Are you feeling confident going ahead? Yeah, well, we have a really good midfield as well. So, um, you know, as the saying goes, it's going to be one and lost in the midfield, but um, we have to respect Brisbane's midfield. They have to be one of the one of the best midfielders, but. Um, you know, we're prepared. It's round one is the longest preparation for the whole year because you've got the whole summer working on it. So, um, you know, we're, we're fully prepared and, um, yeah, Tom and myself are just looking forward to getting out and leading the boys for the first official time. When anyone talks about the Suns, they talk about the first things first is you two, you know, both ends of the ground being the leaders, not just as captains, but as, you know, some of the best players. Does that make you sort of feel pressure that you've got to, you know, lead from the front? I think we, Steve and I put pressure on ourselves to perform, perform every week, so obviously we've got the um, responsibility as captain now. We did it last year for the second half of the year, so uh, I don't think we'll change our ways too much, and we're just look, really looking forward to getting out there and um, starting the season off and hopefully get the first win. Steve, what about, what, obviously you, you, you have captained in the AFL before, but this is sort of the first official match as the official captains. Does that change anything for you guys going into it? No, I was just saying to Tom before that um, it doesn't feel too different because um, when Gaz went down last year and we, we were asked to take over, um, you know, that was when it was high pressure and, you know, we didn't really expect that to happen. Um, and now we've had a whole summer um, getting used to the responsibility. Um, yeah, it's just, and Rockets reiterated to us that we don't, don't change too much. We voted in as captains for what we've been doing, not for what they want us to do. So. Um, yeah, I suppose that takes a little bit of pressure off and know we can just play our natural game and um, that is as leaders and the boys will gravitate towards us. So, yeah, it's not, not too much pressure, just excitement really. Stephen, the one difference is that you'll be captaining with Gaz in the side. So, if he steps out of line, <laughs> <laughs> what do you say to a two-time Brownlow medalist and one of the greatest players ever um, when you're captain? Well, he's, he's uh, actually, the way he's been the captain before is that um, he wasn't too big on a hierarchy, even though he was a captain, he liked everyone to keep each other accountable. So um, he sort of laid that foundation. So, you know, now that we are the captains, if he's out of line, you know, he would expect that. And um, I hope he takes it the right way, because uh, it is a bit uh, different talking to, su you know, such a legend of the game. But um, we don't get, you know, sort of, you know, embarrassed to talk to him like that, because it's just the genuine, humble guy he is. Um, 
you know, he's very, very coachable. He, he likes to teach us and, um, yeah, we, he's just a, a great player to have around here and um, we're pretty lucky that he's still on board and he's not captain, but he's helping Tom and myself with the transition. So that's made our job a lot easier. With the, the two footy clubs are at two different, are in two different phases at the moment. There's no offence to say that about Brisbane. You're poised to, to, to strike for the eight. The, the hard work's been done, you're ready to go, they're, they're developing. Do, do you look ahead, like you, you really should be, there should be a five year of dominance over Brisbane and it's never happened. You've, you've, you've won two in one season just once, it seems to be your Achilles heel. You know, you've been in better form than them most times you've played in for the past few years. So, do you, look, do you want to sort of establish a period of dominance as Queensland's best team? I think definitely we want to be Queensland's best team. We um, we felt like we let ourselves down last year in um, round four, I think it was, against Brisbane. So that was disappointing. And we know Brisbane really lift when we, we play them in Q Cushes, like the showdowns and the derbies. Um, both teams always lift for the um, local um, rivalry. So we know they're going to be really tough this weekend. And um, we want to be Queensland number one team. And we um, want to have a period of dominance. But that starts this weekend. and. Um, I think, feel like we're in a uh, new transition and we've had a really good pre-season, we've built some great momentum so we're looking to start, we can't look too far ahead, we've got to look this weekend and get the four points. Do you think the pressure's more on your footy club? I mean they've got nothing to lose. Yeah definitely, on our, we're, we're um, from the top down, we, you know, the last couple of years you know, there's, been, there's been injuries and all those sort of excuses and we've tried to put those behind us. So. Um, it's not just against Brisbane, it's against any club this year. We, we have um, high aspirations as a footy club and um, the only way we're going to get better is if we keep ourselves accountable to a high standard. So um, we, don't, we don't like to look at where the other team's at um, in terms of where Brisbane are at because um, that's when you can sort of get complacent and, and as you've seen in the last few Q clashes, the favourites lost a few times, probably because of that reason. So um, we've we got to treat every team with the same respect we have for you know, uh, Sydney or, or GWS or Western Bulldogs. So, um, yeah, it's you never can predict the Q clash, and I think that's exciting for, for Queensland football. Do you think that might have happened last time around? You rolled in with your best start ever, three zip, and you were flying. Do you think you maybe just lost a bit of respect for them? I think you, throughout a season you see clubs go um, up and down throughout different weeks. So. I think collectively at a pretty average, we had a very average game and Brisbane were really up. So we know in the AFL if you slip 5%, um, teams are, the competition so close, so they really um, take advantage of that. So I think last week, last year, sorry, we just slipped that little bit and they were um, all over us and ended up coming away with victors. So we're, um, yeah, as we said earlier, we just can't wait for this weekend and start the season with a hopefully a Q clash win. Yeah, well, Pierce is one of those niggly guys, so we've got him on our side now. Um, but no, we we understand as you know as a rivalry. Um, Tom and myself, we get targeted a little bit, and we target a couple of their key players. And it doesn't just happen in the in the rivalries; it happens every week. So um, you just got to sort of mature and and do your job because you know the, the team who has a laugh laugh is the one who wins. So you know it's all part of the rivalry. It's a bit of fun. Everybody loves a bit of banter out there, um, some more than others. But you know. It's part, that's why we play AFL. You know, it's it's so fun, and there's and there's different things that you encounter every week, and Q Clash is just one of those. Tom, in your preseason match, um, Robert wasn't too happy with the officiating around your part of the ground. Harris Andrews was probably hanging on a lot. How did you see that, and is that something you hope sort of gets a? I guess you get a free run or a free run this weekend. Yeah, Rock was a bit frustrated after the game about that, but I think he's trying to look after me a little bit. Um, yeah, I think that was my first game up. I was um, just trying to make my way a little bit, um, start the pre-season. So this weekend, I, um, I've learned a few things out of that game with Harris Andrews. I've played on um, Daniel Merritt a fair bit over the journey. So um, yeah, I've learned a bit of um, how to play him um, this weekend. So yeah, um, if the free kick's there, free kick's there, but I won't be counting on the umpires too much this weekend. What about, uh, I guess, in the first few years, and not quite sort of the same level as other 
do you feel like for the last 12, 18 months it's, it's perhaps reached that point now where there's a genuine rivalry between these two clubs? Are you referring to me? <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. Take this one. Um, no, maybe it was a little bit manufactured early on, and that's and you expect that for a new franchise joining um, this market. But um, yeah, through various circumstances, um, the rivalry has lifted, which um, I think personally is just great for the code, and um, it, it's you know it's pretty exciting. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit of a villain now, you know, and but luckily we're playing at Metricon, but. Now that the women's grand final is there as well, there could be a lot of Brisbane Lions supporters there, so I'm, uh, I'll be ready for that. But no, that's it's it, you, maybe it was a bit manufactured early on, but that's six years ago now, and the last few years it's definitely built and it's um, it's, it's building into a bit of a tradition which we like. Tommy, going back to that kind of physicality of the officiating, um, I guess with, with the attention that you're getting, especially the past four months or so, is that something you're going to have to kind of become accustomed to going forward? I guess. With the, the profile around you, do you, do you kind of have to, is that the next challenge for you? Do you have to keep bags of goals? Why do you need that attention? From opposition? Yeah, I think we'll, it's tough. Every Whoever plays AFL is going to get attention from opposition. So I think um, having Pete up there is going to help me a great deal because he takes the pressure off me. If um, they're worried about me, he's going to get off the chain. So I think as a forward group and as a team, you've got to work together. So um, it's just one of those things you've got to get used to. The, Teams are going to have different tactics to quell different types of players. So one thing's, I think I've um, dealt with it pretty well in the past, and um, I think I'll be alright to deal with it this weekend.